Hey y'all, this is Carol Norby here at my Stamp and Carol Lots of Crafty Goodness page. I am still working on some projects from the Holiday Project Kits. And um, I'm slowly getting there. I think after today, all I have left are the ones using the Glimmer Foil uh, system. And I really need just to sit down and play with that because my first attempt was <laughs> not so good. <laughs> little bit of a learning curve but uh, I'll get there. So today I'm going to make a shaker card using a new die set from uh, Spellbinders called Deck the Halls and I do have it partially started so that you don't have to sit there and watch all the stuff that I normally do. So I'm going to flip the phone over and we'll get started. Okay. There it is, right there. Get myself situated. This is the die set. Isn't that cute? It's not a big die set. It is, like I said, deck the halls. There are eight pieces in here. It is S3-0, not zero, S3-378. I'm thinking of uh, some other project products that have that a zero, uh, a zero in them. I started with a folded card base. This is a layer of brush gold cardstock. I will have the links to all of this on my website tomorrow at stampincarol.com. So I die cut the words in a gold mirror. Here's the piece that came out of there. I have the acetate on the back. I glued this piece down. These uh, that are die cut out of mirror silver, and I do need to cut that end off right like that, and we'll get started. Now, I did die cut a whole bunch of snowflakes out of brush silver and brush gold. I have this little piece here, which is for the top, and I'll get that glued on. So I'm going to sit down. I can't really see what I'm doing standing up, but then I can't see what you guys are seeing if I'm sitting down. So <laughs> kind of an interesting situation. Now, I will save this piece here, and I will die cut it uh, the inside shortly. So let's see. My I had a bubble in my glue yesterday. And it just wanted to come out and come out, and I couldn't get it. It's hardly stopped. And you can see it's kind of doing it again. I thought, man, that's kind of unusual that that happens. We'll get this adhered onto here. I can see I got a little bit of glue where I don't want glue. Um, if you take a damp rag on some of this or an adhesive, uh, eraser you'll do just fine so there's my base I'm not going to add my snowflakes yet so this is going to be adhered over here but for me to make it a shaker card I am using our foam tape by fun stampers journey ad-0114 and I am going to raise this up I think that's probably about adhered now Move my glue out of the way, move other stuff out of the way so I can get this on here. So I have not played a whole lot with this tape. And I haven't decided um, I might need to double layer it. Because you can't get a really good shaker look out of a single layer. Can you see what I'm doing here? So I'm just adding little pieces here and there. We'll get this. You got to make sure that your pieces adhere really good because, and I got that one a little long, you want to make sure they're touching so that your sequins, and I am using uh, two different bottles today of sequins. I might could have might have cut that one a little short, uh, just a little. So, kind of sticking to my to my um, scissors. 
but they'll clean off nicely. So I'm trying to leave just a little bit of room uh, between the acetate area, the cutout area, and my foam tape because it's otherwise you just can't you don't you don't want your sequence going too far away from your main image. So we'll get this in here. Okay, I think I can. This kind of you can kind of curve this to a degree. I've never had any really good luck at that. And I adhered my acetate down with our white liner tape. Um, this stuff is just really cool. If you want a comparison, um, score pal tape is a, is similar. If you have score, you just want a really good adhesive. I've noticed that um, my um, adhesive for my AG ATG gun is just not really good enough. Now there's one layer. It might be thick enough. Like I said, I'm using I'm using sequins from the Holiday Sequins, Holiday Elements AC-0116. See, there's a zero, but I took the little red flowers out. I didn't want them and I am using uh, silver sequins from Special Celebration AC-0115. Oh, I see Walmart Pharmacy is calling me. I need to order some of Dean's medicine. So I'm using silver. So I'm looking at that. I'm going, okay, that works. And then I will need to put... Can you hear the phone humming? I did manage to turn it off, mostly because I didn't turn it on last night. <laughs> I had it on vibrate because I took... My husband had a church board meeting last night, and he had done something in his truck, moving some heavy things and pulled a belly muscle, side muscle, and he was in pain. And I said, okay, I'll drive you to your board meeting if you want to go. So I did. And I turned my phone off at the board meeting, so just in case. Now, I don't think I am going to add any more foam tape since this is such a small layer. So I'm going to set this here, and I'm going to try to figure out about where... These will go. I don't have very many of them. I don't know what that is. So make sure they're in the middle. Get that one in there. I want these to be right. In. Oh, they must have left a message. I got three calls yesterday from some insurance company because Medicare's have an open enrollment. Oh, good. That's just right on, except for right here. I'm going to split these down a little bit more. See, it's going to be a little full. I'm going to take a couple out. Don't need a lot of sequins in here. Try this again. <laughs> okay. That looks good. So I'm going to leave those right there. I'm going to take all the backing off my foam. Yeah, my fingers are getting sticky. See all that residue? I think this will be a very pretty card. Should be using my bloom tool. That'll help get the get those off a little better. Yeah. You know the pointy thing on your tool. I use the dental pick so much that I've almost destroyed it. I found out, do not use your pick points to clean the grooves on your paper trimmer. Just get a piece of scrap of uh, cardstock, run it up your, up your um, cutting groove. Works a whole lot better. A whole lot better. Okay, just about. So are y'all having a good day today? This one does not want to come off. There it goes. I got paper poop all over my floor from some of this stuff. I need to clean my floor. 
Okay, so I've got that. So I want to get this just right, and I'm trying to stand over. Get that one down a little more. Those in a little more. Okay, am I looking good? Once it's down, it's down. Okay, there we go. Pretty cool. I'm glad I took some of that excess out. Okay, so now I'll put my I probably should not have adhered that. Maybe I should have put my snowflakes on. Okay, so then you just want to figure out where do you want your snowflakes? I can trim some of these since that is raised up so much. Isn't this looking pretty? We don't get snow down here in Arizona much. I have I have seen some, though, uh, but it just never lasts. It's uh, hit and miss, pretty much. But I remember one year, my aunt had a photo in her house. Uh, they got two to three inches, a couple inches anyway, up in Tucson, and she used to... I think that's going to be enough. She used to maintain the uniforms for the local baseball team. Not local. We had the Chicago White Sox, the Arizona Diamondbacks, and one other here. I can't think of who it was. That uh, she maintained their uniforms. And the ball diamond, she had a picture of the ball diamond, one of the two in Tucson, and it was just white. Now, I have some glue in this nice little glue dispenser and I got these about where I want them so I'm going to leave that sitting there I'll add this I like this dispenser I got it from Walmart because it's got such a fine point I like that needle point and then a friend gave me the pen that's on here that I use to clean out the tip I did learn one thing. Don't leave the pin in your dispenser. It has a tendency to stick, and I ruined one <laughs> dispenser. It's like, uh-oh, not good. Okay. So now you get the fun of watching me apply all these. But anyway, this won't take very long. These snowflakes are gorgeous. So much detail to them. Just got to keep my fingers out of the way. Eee, yeah, sticking already. Okay. Stay. <laughs> Yeah, Walmart must have left a uh, message, so I'm getting notifications. I will return the call soon. I do need to order Dean's medicine. He has he has issues with heartburn, and the doctor put him on a, a product. I asked about it because there are, you know, side effects, and our doctor said, well, he takes this so he doesn't get esophageal cancer, so it's probably better that he takes it than not. So sometimes you just have to, to do that. I'm not too crazy over it, but what the heck. You know, some of those medicines out there are good, and some you wonder, am I sure I want to be taking this? <laughs> Anyway, isn't this turning out pretty? Pretty, pretty. Very nice. I got to get into Christmas card mode here real soon. Now, I may have to come back and add more glue to some of these because um, it's like 
I'm not getting the pressure on them to really hold them down for very long. I'm trying not to put too much glue on my snowflakes because it has a tendency to smear. I have smeared one card I smeared, um, one I shared the other day. It had um, the word believe on it. And I'm going, oh man, this just looks like awful. You could see my smear. Then I found my adhesive eraser and oh, what a difference that made. But I had to be real careful that I didn't destroy my my uh, die cut because it was, again, it was, um, I think it was the brush silver. I did not want to take the finish off of that. Almost done. It's almost like watching paint dry, isn't it? <laughs> I used to paint. Uh, I painted for a builder in Wyoming. I did all the uh, trim work, baseboard, window trim, door trim and such and uh, one guy it, it just it took forever I, I'm, I was slow but I was not making a mess I hate to make messes when I'm painting okay clean out my tip this works really nice I just run it in there clean it up and put the tip back on or the cap on the tip. Get the glue off that. Stick it back in a piece of tape. So that works really good. So there is the card. I will trim off the edges once I make sure everything's adhered down. See, now that one's not wanting to stick. So I will come back with a dab of glue on there. But all I have to do on these... Oh yeah, be careful. Let's cut the and I'll just cut them off a little bit right here. Trim them up. Clean them off the edges. And there's my card. Isn't that cool? And it shakes. I don't have too much in there. Just enough. Works really good. Because when you're making a shaker card, you know, less is more, really, on the insides, it seems like. You get too much, especially like this card, since I only want one layer. If I did two layers, I could do more, two layers of foam. But this card will ship nicely. Um, you can come back in and add, um, for example, I have Fashion Gold. Get to them, Fashion Silver, Fashion Gold. You can put these in the middle of the dots. The snowflakes, wouldn't that be pretty? I think I'll do that. I'll add some of those. So I will share the finished card on my blog tomorrow and on my Facebook page. I will have links to all the products on my blog. It's stampincarol.com. No G in there, stampincarol.com. I will also make this into a YouTube video. It'll be on later today. Um, and uh, you can watch again. So I want to thank you for coming by. I'll get this flipped back there we go thank you for coming by today and uh, y'all have a wonderful day um, you know Christmas is not far away you need to get started on your Christmas cards <laughs> so thanks for stopping by have a great day and I'll catch you hopefully Friday I will be back on with another card thanks a lot bye bye <laughs>